Hello, this is a video on Quizlet, how to get started. This is a great program for making review materials, flashcards, and the like. It's also nice because there is an app for the iPad, iPhone, and other tablet devices. Here I am at Quizlet.com. As you can expect, you do need to sign up and get yourself an account, and then you do need to log in. Here I am at the dashboard. You also might want to familiarize yourself with the profile which shows the sets that you've created and the flashcard sets that you have studied lately. What I'd like to do now is show you that if you go to the mobile tab they do have applets for the various mobile devices. Now I'd like to show you how to create a set. So we click create set. In this dialog box, you're going to type in the basic information. Your title, the description, the subjects, and it's important to have a good title and description so that your card set can be found by other people. You can also make this visible to everyone or to select individuals. Down below here is where you're going to be typing in your questions and answers. You do have to select a language. If you choose math, then you have a number of math symbols here, exponents, the uh, intersection, union, is a subset of, symbol, and so on. Or you can use English. So here's where you type in your information. So I have typed in my questions and my answers. On the left hand side are what are called the terms and on the right hand side are the answers. Typically for math problems I put the prompt on the left hand side and the answer on the right hand side. Once you have your questions typed in you click create set. Everything is saved automatically right in the browser and we go right into the practicing mode. So here is the flashcard and right now both sides are being shown. Um, typically you would only want to show the term first. So it says two points are blank contained in exactly one plane always sometimes or never so you think in your head oh that's never true. Um, so you click to flip the card and it says never and there is um, an explanation in parentheses. Then you advance to your next slide and so on. There are some other modes here. For example the learn mode. In the learn mode you are going to be needing to type in an answer. Now you do want to prompt with the term. Remember the term was the one on the left hand side and you're going to be typing in your answer. I'll do that now. And I see that I got that correct. This is a very nice feature of Quizlet over here on the right hand side. The things are going to be ignored in your answer. And typically I like to check all of these. And a good example is this question right here. You might want to pause the video and think about this. The answer here is never. So I'm going to go ahead and make that my answer. And you'll notice that it did count the answer correct even though there were some things in parentheses. But I have the checkbox over here stuff in parentheses checked so that is still correct. So I'm back at my dashboard and if you click your it's card stack if you'd like to edit it it's right here on this left hand side and you can edit. Also so there are some very nice features down here for printing and combining card sets. I'll let you explore some of the other methods and games, uh, other methods of practicing and games to play. I encourage you to use Quizlet and make sure that you get the app for your mobile device. Have a great day.